Hey guys, Renactive Man here. I'll be bringing you a new video on my two new items that I got. So, as you can see, I've got two items. Um, I'll show them to you right now. So the first item, this one first, is a canteen of some sort, or at least I think it is, because this could just be a random canteen put into like an ammo pouch or something. Um, this is Australian, I'm pretty sure. Average canteen. For water only. Got that there. And you've got the pouch itself. Buckle folding it up. Piece here. Then you got two straps on the side. Here. And you got one big one. Up here. Now I'm not sure what this or where this is from, but I did make a map yeah, make out a date. Uh I don't know if you can see that. 1988. Um Yeah, that's about it. Please tell me. Um I thought it was a Vietnam War thing. But guess not. Um got the little steps here for attaching onto some sort of belt. Um, and again, please tell me, because I don't know where this is from. So, yeah, it's got a drainage hole at the bottom. Mm, not much to it. Here's one last look. It's all that inside. The front. There you go. Don't know if you can see that. Here's the back. So that that is that. Uh, by the way, I got these from the shop, uh, antique shop, for really cheap. Like this was twelve dollars. This was eighteen dollars. Speaking of which, this is an M1 Garand belt, and I'm very surprised that I found one of these. Because in Australia, you don't just find these in any random shop, unless it's a military surplus store. And even then, it could still be hard to find. And the price as well, it was $18. That's pretty cool. Now, not the best one. Like, the US is meant to be on this part here. Um, it hasn't got all the loopholes for the suspenders. But if I'm attaching a musette bag to it, then I can still use it for that because it's got a hole. But I don't have all of them. Here is the inside. Okay. There's no date on them, unfortunately. It's probably just a cheap reproduction, but I'll still use it. It's better than nothing. But the things that are accurate about it is that it does have the holes at the bottom, these. Uh, the shape of the pockets are correct, like, I know the Chinese ones have the straight edges and no point, like, some will have a point, but it's very slight, and your impression will look good, and then there's just being a new cartridge belt, and then you'll be like, oh, that doesn't look very good, but, yeah, it's not the best one, inside you've got the adjustments there, um, Please tell me where I can get um, good M1 Garand belts. Like I know at the front, um, at the front, I know um, SM Wholesale, um, Epic Military. That's where I get a lot of my stuff. I uh, recommend you check it out. Um, I'll put all these in the description. But yeah, and um, next video will probably be a impression video. And I know long awaited the Japanese ones are still coming, but I decided to film a few videos with the putties. I'm going to do that first, but next video will be a US impression video. So that's that. Oh, and it's got the average buckle on them. There you go. So that's all I got for today. 
Uh, sorry for not uploading. It's been quite a while, guys. Uh, yeah, sorry about that. I've been real busy. But, yeah, my US impression will be coming soon. I can do two variants, either just a normal infantryman or a sergeant. Because uh, I've got Thompson pouches and all the Thompson gear. Um, I've got this, which is all completed. Which will be a complete impression, I'm sorry. Because uh, for the sergeant one, I don't have a holster. I did order one, and it's coming. And I don't have the pistol ammo pouches. The small ones with the two pockets. I really need to find those. And also, tell me where that is as well. Because the ones I've found are just cheap ones. And the original ones are like $100 for some reason. But anyway, it's been Reenactor Man. I will link uh, the uh, stores I mentioned in the description. Hope you enjoyed. I'll see you next time.